Blah, 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 blah. Life update video, yeah. I am still in Nashville, still doing the thing. I'm sure you can tell one of the biggest changes that's happened recently is this right here on my head. I am a green head now. <laughs> I'm a green head. Apparently my hair glows in UV light. I'm gonna have to test that out for an upcoming cover video and I actually already know what song I wanna do. Oh my god! But I can't tell you right now, I can't tell you right now. Update number two is that I totally got my eyebrows microbladed. It was freaking awesome and if you're interested in me actually making a video devoted to talking about microblading, just comment below and let me know that's something you wanna see. Comment below and let me know. Comment below. Q&A, here we go. Maddie wants to know, would I get another tattoo? I currently have one tattoo right here. See? The answer is yes, I would get another tattoo, but don't tell my grandma or my mom. My mom's gonna see this video. Hi, mom. <laughs> Karina wants to know, what is my favorite hair color that I've ever had? This is probably my favorite color that I've done so far, simply because it is so wild. Somehow, I'm completely used to it. Like I look in the mirror now and I'm just like, yeah, we have green hair. Totally normal. <laughs> Vanessa wants to know, do I ever wish that I had a sister? For those of you who don't know, I actually have two brothers who are younger than me and they're both amazing. They're like my best friends in the whole wide world. And I remember being a little kid and finding out that my mom was pregnant again. And I wanted a baby sister so bad. Now that I'm older, I actually, see what an advantage it was to being the only girl and the oldest. I got my own bedroom, I got my own bathroom. You know, there are perks to being an only girl in the sibling tribe. But my youngest brother Jonathan actually just got engaged to one of the most beautiful girls in the whole world named Rachel. I'm super excited to be welcoming Rachel into the family and her being my sister. So I guess it kind of counts. Amy wants to know, what was it about Wicked, the musical, that made me realize it was one of my favorite Broadway shows? I love how Elphaba is so independent. She is so determined and resolved to do what she knows is right, regardless of what anyone's gonna think of her, regardless of who is gonna misjudge her. And then of course, freaking Glinda. Kristen Chenoweth is literally one of my favorite vocalists out there. I think she is the most adorable thing in the whole world. I think she's so beautiful and there's just something so pure about her voice that just gets me every time, man. Kay Chen is my girl. Kay Chen, you out there? Apartment life. <laughs> Danielle wants to know who inspired me musically growing up. Disney movies. Hello. I definitely remember being inspired musically by Stacey Rico and Rachel Lampa. Zoe Girl, Plus One. I freaking loved Kelly Clarkson's first album. I used to go in my bathroom at home with my boom box and I would play Thankful over and over and over. I was also super inspired by 80s rock. Styx and Foreigner and Journey, Pat Benatar, Bad English, Damn Yankees, Blondie. I was musically inspired by a huge array of different genres and different artists and different voices. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time. Until then, be nice and be alike. Bye.